Am I the asshole for not apologizing to a little girl when my dog scared her? I have a little dog who is not a fan of children. He ignores them when they ignore him, but gets very nervous when they yell and run or jump towards him. The other day I was walking him on the sidewalk next to my house, and a lady was sitting outside watching her little daughter, 4 5, F play. The daughter saw my dog, who is very cute and fluffy, and started running towards him and screaming excitedly. My dog got scared and started barking. The girl got scared and started crying hysterically. Her mother started yelling at me and demanding I apologize to her daughter because my dog scared her. I said that I have nothing to apologize for, as my dog was properly leashed and far away from the girl at all times, so I did my duty as a dog owner, and she should do her duty as a parent and teach her child not to scream and run towards strangers' dogs, as you never know how they would react. She disagreed, and eventually I just walked away. Reddit, am I the asshole? Edit, the incident took place on a public sidewalk next to the entrance of my apartment building. The dog was at least three meters away from the girl at all times, and on a short leash, so there was never any danger that anything would happen to her. Not the asshole. She needs to teach her kid the proper way to approach a dog. Not the asshole. Not your problem she can't teach her kid not to scream and run towards pets. She's lucky you leashed your dog. I've seen kids get bitten or chased after doing what this kid did because the owner wasn't responsible and leashing their pet. I guess I'm going against the grain here but esh. I get that everyone says you don't owe anyone anything these days but at the end of the day it's a child. I personally find it a bit heartless that in this situation with a crying child your first instinct isn't to say something like, oh sorry, you just scared my dog, they didn't mean to scare you, the mum didn't really have a right to get angry at you though as you didn't do anything wrong. Yes you're the asshole. Geez, why does everything always have to be a pissing contest? I was in the right so I don't feel I need to take into consideration how a four-year-old might be feeling, because it was her own fault. Children, especially young children, don't always know what they can and can't do around pets. A simple, I'm sorry he scared you, but he was scared too. That's why he barked at you. A little bit of basic civility, even though you were in the right. Let the downvotes commence. Not the asshole. From past bad experience, I know kids need to be taught to stay away from dogs they don't know. Esh. Yes, all the people talking about the parent and child needing to learn, some dogs don't like kids, and, she needs to know to be careful, have points. The truth however is you're talking about a small child who may have even been younger than you guessed. It costs you nothing to say a quick, sorry about that, and possibly console a scared child. A little kindness never hurt anyone. It's a literal child, just say sorry to her and move on. The comments on this are insane. You're an adult, she was a four-year-old girl who doesn't know what's going on, why the hell would you stay so firm in your stance and not just tell the girl you, your dog was sorry and keep walking. My dog and I are very sorry, he just gets scared when people run at him like that. Would have taken three five seconds, you help calm down a literal toddler, and help her to know she shouldn't do that to strange dogs. Not the asshole. That poor girl will have an unfortunate incident with a dog in the near future, and her mom will raise hell to punish the dog and the dog owner since it won't be her precious darling's fault. Dot. But I guess you could dress up your dog as some kind of infectious giant rat to stop any kids from wanting to pet him. Some might still be tempted, though. Esh. She's five. She didn't know any better. Don't blame her over that. It's not her fault she got afraid. Esh. Why couldn't you have just warned the child and the mother that your dog is dangerous towards children? If I nearly hit a child with a car my first instinct is to check if the child is okay and reassure them, even if it is totally not my fault because the child ran into the road. At least you had it on a leash. So sick of people walking with dogs without leashes and the dogs running everywhere in parks. I don't care if he's a gentle giant you won't be able to control it when it snaps at my face. It's a four-year-old. You are deaf and asshole laughing my ass off wow. You really showed her who's boss by not apologizing. Not the asshole. I have been told at a very young age that you shouldn't approach a dog you don't know recklessly because their behavior aren't always predictable. Definitely not the asshole. This parent should teach basic knowledge to her kid and make her understand that she should be more cautious with animals. 
Esh. I know, it's controversial, but her mom is in a hole for screaming at you. But you could have said something like, he's not a big fan of kids, I'm sorry he scared you. It's not like the girl was at fault. The mother was the biggest a hole obviously. Not the asshole. I have a four-year-old who absolutely loves dogs, and I am so careful to make sure she knows not to run yelling, screaming towards dogs, especially if we don't know them. Not the asshole. If anything, it's good the kid was scared. It helps her learn a lesson that her mother probably won't teach, and will get her hurt if she doesn't learn. You did your best and you dog acted appropriately. If you punish a dog for giving a warning, they stop giving those warnings. Which leads to sudden bites. The fact he became nervous and warned her to stay away is good. Don't listen to those saying your dog isn't trained. And an apology would have taught the kid if I yell at people, the blame is all on them because that is how five-year-old brains work. Not the asshole. It sounds like you were responsible and a child running towards your dog isn't your fault. Perhaps you should have suggested a leash for the child to avoid these situations in the future. Esh. Yes, the mom needs to teach her daughter how to behave better. But in the end, a little girl was scared because your dog became aggressive at her. The least you could do was apologize to the girl for him having scared her. It's empathy and basic human kindness and has nothing to do with whether you were right or wrong and all about comforting a scared child. Turning it into an ego thing, I don't owe anyone an apology, makes you a bit of the asshole, emo. Not the asshole you were a responsible dog owner. Hopefully the little girl will never run towards the dog of an irresponsible one because then the girl and that other dog will both be the ones to suffer. Not the asshole not sure why on earth there are so many comments saying you should have apologized. Just no. You were responsibly walking your dog on a leash. The little girl ran at you causing your dog to bark. It was mum's job to console her child and use it as a teaching moment, not yours. Kind of torn between everyone sucks here and nah. I understand where you both are coming from, and honestly, neither of you handled it very well. Ultimately, you're in a public place and it's your responsibility to maintain control of your dog. Not the asshole. Just like you said, it's important to teach kids to ask first before approaching. Not the asshole, it's a dog's natural reaction to bark when someone runs at them or they feel threatened. That parent should seriously watch their kid better. It's all harmless now, but what if the dog is unfriendly? A lot more could happen than just a bark. Not the asshole. Parents need to start teaching their kids about respecting boundaries. They assume that just because it's a child that others should just let them behave how they want and that's not right face with rolling eyes. Not the asshole. You're absolutely right, she needs to teach her child how to behave around dogs. And you never approach someone's dog unasked. Not the asshole. Just yesterday I was hiking with a friend and his dog, a family walk by and a girl, a wrong 11 y o one asked if she can touch the dog. 2. Let the dog sniff her hand first. I was shocked. Haven't seen a child behave so well in years. Such a smart girl. Esh. Should she teach her child not to do that? Absolutely. But kids that age haven't developed impulse control yet. Their brains just literally aren't developed well in that area by four or five, and that's why we parents end up death gripping their little hands near roads at that age. They bolt still on occasion, when excited. And instead of respecting that, you treated her a bit shitty. All you had to do was say, sorry kid, dogs don't like it when you run at them so always try to stay calm. Her mother can calm right down, I'd care more about the child. Esh. You're an asshole, but you're justified. You're correct that you don't owe them anything and you were following the law, but you're also not just taking a stand against an asshole mother, you're letting your pride get in the way of making a little girl feel better. Yes, she's not your kid and you don't owe her something, you're justified, but you're an asshole for taking a principled stand where the only result is a little kid feeling bad. Not the asshole. Dogs bark when they feel anything. Your dog didn't do anything other than make a noise. Children are gonna child but that's what their parents are there for and it's only luck that your dog wasn't a dog who has a bad reaction. Not the asshole, I wear braces and got bit in the leg by a dog passing by on the sidewalk because it was scared of me and my giant scary knee wraps. I considered it partially my bad for not giving the dog proper clearance. 
Dogs, horses, and any other animal are prone to doing dumb shit when scared or overstimulated and you have to be taught how to act around animals. Running at them and screaming is not it. Everyone sucks here she should have cautioned her kid you should have apologized all good and nothing more. I swear people in here have to turn everything into a pissing contest plus it looks like our child free is leaking. You are the asshole what the fuck man she's like 4 or 5 a kid that young still thinks that all animals are nice to humans it was an idiot move of her but it's nice to apologize for scaring her. You're the asshole bro. How hard would it have been to console the little girl for 3 seconds? I teach my little girl not to do a lot of stuff, but she still darts off on her own sometimes because she's a toddler and they get excited. The lady was also crazy for asking for an apology but that wasn't your question. Make it about soothing the little kid, not being right against the adult. Not the asshole. What you told the mother was 100% correct. Just because you have a cute dog, doesn't entitle other people to pet it. Not the asshole. Your dog isn't there for her child's entertainment. Not the asshole. My dog is great with kids and would still have a reaction if a stranger ran up to him screaming. And it would be a lot scarier for that little girl because he is a 100 plus pound lab. I also have a 2.5 child that knows better than to run screaming towards a strange dog and he loves dogs. It is not hard to teach a child not to scare dogs. It is practically impossible to teach a small dog that a running screaming stranger is not attacking them. Not the asshole. I grow up around dogs. But I knew I can't approach a dog in this way. If the dog showed me he don't want me near I didn't go to him. If he isnt direct growl or barking, I let him sniff at my hand. They usually show then how they want to be treat. Most are fine after this for petting. Other showed me nope, go away. If they had approached my grandma's Westie, she would be aggressive. She liked almost all people, but not noisy and unannounced petting. If people give her time it would be fine. But not in this way you had. Not the asshole, kids need to learn to ask before coming up to a stranger's dog. My dog is exactly like yours, tons of dogs are not good with people they don't know, and parents need to teach their kids that. Instead of being a decent parent, this mom blamed you, so now her daughter has learned she should still run up to dogs, her mom basically reinforced it. Not the asshole. I think I would have said something to the girl to make her feel better, maybe explained why it happened so she understood for the future, but her mother clearly bulldozed over that opportunity anyway. Your underscore certainly underscore not the asshole for the way your dog behaved, the child has been done a gross disservice by her parents if she's not been taught to never approach strange dogs without permission. You are not the asshole. My smallest, youngest and cutest chihuahua always gets approached when we're at the vet I don't take her anywhere else and once a child came up to her and before I could even react the child had her hands near my dog and she snapped. The mom who wasn't paying attention to her child gave me the stink eye. I rolled my eyes and said to the girl, sorry she doesn't like people, and kept on about my business. I'm so tired of kids not being taught, as I was, to not approach unfamiliar animals of any kind. Manners are going out of style, it seems. Not the asshole. Sounds like a parent ready to deflect any and all blame onto other people. N.T.A. She's doing her kid no favors letting her approach dogs like that. Not the asshole this is behavior that could have led to a bite with another dog so she needs to learn what's appropriate. I don't think you're the a-hole. But you could have a non-apology, I am sorry you were frightened by the dog. She doesn't like children, and you startled her. She didn't mean to upset you. Then, hopefully, the mother could have used the situation to teach her daughter about dog safety. To repeat, not the asshole. Dude. She was a four-year-old. Even if it is her mom's responsibility to teach her not to run screaming towards dogs, she'll probably still do it if she sees a cute fluffy thing. Yeah, her mom shouldn't have yelled at you, but actively refusing to comfort an upset kid is a v-asshole move. You are the asshole. Not the asshole. My dog is a little hesitant with screaming children and barks nervously at them. I would be pissed if I had to apologize for her barking at the kids. Not the asshole. I'm so sick of parents not reaching their kids how to behave around dogs. Esh. Is it really a big deal to say sorry to a little kid when your dog scares them? 
She's five, and your dog was mean to her. I get that you don't like kids, but it's a little heartless to not at least apologize that your dog scared a little girl. Nope not the asshole. Your dog was properly under your control. I don't let anyone come near mine. They're the most placid beasts and would probably lick you to death but I'm never taking the chance. If a kid comes near I usually tell them to watch out they bite so that the kids fuck off. Not the asshole and if the parent has half a brain cell she will use this as a teaching moment that you don't rush animals, and that her getting scared when the dog barked was the dog giving her a warning to give the animal its space. I will honestly never understand parents who just assume every animal wants to be hugged and squeezed by their precocious offspring. Not the asshole, the mom is more the asshole here in my opinion. She needs to teach her kid how to behave around animals. Next time if you feel like it, you could tell the kid to approach the dog calmly and show her how to treat dogs, because it's pretty fundamental knowledge. Like if she lives in your building it might be easier to do it yourself, rather than a series of annoying interactions.